In this video, I'm gonna show you what an NFT is. I'll also show you why they're becoming so popular, as well as how many millions of dollars people are making from them right now. And stick around till the end of the video so you can see how to take advantage of this booming new asset class. Hi, I'm Jeremy Zargami and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna give you a basic overview of what an NFT is. If you haven't already, click that like button because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't click that like button, YouTube will show this video to less people. So to help out the channel and to help more people see this great content, hit that like button. And if you're a beginner investor, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is all about helping out new investors and guiding them along on their journey of growing their wealth. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every time I post a new video. I post a new video every Monday at noon. Now let's get into it. So what is an NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible token. Non-fungible means that something is unique and it can't be exchanged for another. For example, a $20 bill is fungible because you can swap it out with another $20 bill or two $10 bills or four $5 bills and it doesn't make a difference. So unlike that $20 bill, these tokens are non-fungible and are verified on the blockchain to certify their authenticity. The fact that each NFT is unique just adds to their scarcity and drives up the value. So why does this matter? It matters because people are using these NFTs to buy and sell digital art and digital assets. NFTs can represent anything from virtual real estate to works of art to deeds and even insurance policies. So why are most people buying NFTs right now? People are buying NFTs right now because of the same reasons they buy physical art or antiques. Aesthetics, a passion for the artists, trends, and art world validations are among the major factors that drive collectors to purchase artworks. They also want to buy something that's unique, scarce, and extremely hard to steal or damage. In a world full of knockoffs, it's really easy to verify if an NFT is real or not. Most NFTs are ran through the Ethereum network, which uses blockchain technology. So each NFT has its own unique keys to it that you can verify on the blockchain to make sure it's the real thing. Collecting digital items is very similar to collecting physical items. They can be viewed as both a hobby and an investment. Because NFTs are new and exciting, people are paying big money for NFTs right now. For example, on March 10th, 2021, this NFT called CryptoPunk number 7804, a pipe smoking teal colored alien NFT, sold for 4,200 ETH, which is Ethereum's native currency, the equivalent of $7.56 million in current prices, only to be topped the next day by this NFT called CryptoPunk number 3100. It sold for the same amount at 4,200 ETH, but because Ethereum's price went up, it sold for 7.58 million. Another big NFT sale was a GIF of a half pop tart, half cat called Nyan Cat. It sold on February 19th, 2021 for 300 ETH, which means it's currently worth about $600,000. Another cool NFT project that's come out is called NBA Top Shot. They are these virtual cubes that have a highlight clip of a cool moment from a game, like Steph Curry hitting a long three pointer. The other sides of the cube have the final score of the game, the date of the game, the player's number, and the team's logo. The most expensive NBA Top Shot sold so far was a highlight of LeBron. LeBron dunking on a Sacramento Kings player, which sold for $208,000. Maverick's owner and billionaire Mark Cuban thinks that these NBA top shots will make up a huge part of the NBA's revenue in the coming years. Investors are already spending over $100 million a week on these NFTs. The craziest of all NFT sales happened a little over a week ago on March 11th at the major auction house Christie's, when the digital artist known as Beeple auctioned off a collage called The First 5,000 Days. It sold for $69 million, making it the most expensive NFT ever sold. One cool feature of NFTs that's huge for for artists is that you can program royalties into these NFTs. So no matter how many times an artist's work gets sold, they will get a percentage of the sales price. That is an incredible feature that will radically change the game for artists. The Kings of Leon recently dropped their new album as an NFT. This makes it much harder for people to commit copyright infringement, and it makes sure the artist gets compensated correctly for each time their music is being used. This is built into the NFT smart contract, so there's no way to bypass it either. The band dropped three types of tokens. One type is a special album package, while the second type offers live show perks like front row seats for life, and the third type is for exclusive audiovisual art. Imagine buying an NFT from your favorite band and having front row seats with backstage access for life. Or imagine buying an NFT from Chipotle and getting free guac for life. That would be a major flex. There are so many use cases for NFTs, the possibilities are endless. Someone recently sold 64 plots of land in a digital world called Decentraland for $80,000 because of its location and road access. So people are paying big bucks for virtual real estate using NFTs. People are also buying virtual racetracks as well. Someone purchased a portion of a Monaco racetrack in an Ethereum-based Formula 1 game for $222,000. According to the rarity, track NFTs will earn between 5% and 25% of gameplay fees, in addition to either 3% to 21% of elite staking yields. So whoever buys these NFTs will earn a dividend from their investment, based on the revenue generated in the game. This is a completely new way to earn passive income that's never been done before. Imagine owning the Superdome in Madden, and anytime there was a game played there, you'd get paid for it. How crazy would that be? It seems like there's so many more uses for NFTs coming out every day, so I suggest paying 
paying attention to the space. I know it can be overwhelming and hard to wrap your head around at first, but we're onto something big with these NFTs. And if you continue to learn how you can take advantage, there are big opportunities to be had in this space. Question of the day, do you think NFTs are legit? Do you think they'll play a key role in our daily lives in the future? Comment down below. If you like that video, I'm gonna put another video right here that I think you will like. So click on that video and I'll see you in the next one.